<laughs> Welcome back, friends and all relatives and people from here and here. You, you kind of been missing my face, haven't you? Even though I'm floating around the internet. Well, Mike and I, you know this guy. Say hello, Mike. What are we making today? Ah, shut up, Mike. Me comprendo, mi hermanos, los piantrotoscos. Today, we are making something that is gonna frickin' frick your frick because we have... <laughs> oh god, we have liquid nitrogen. Now, liquid nitrogen, I know it's fancy. A lot of the stuff we do on this show, you know, it's not necessarily that fancy. We're teaching you how to cook in all kinds of ways, but you know what, I've been wanting this for so long. I bought this doer, and basically what this does is it allows the liquid nitrogen to stay in there because what liquid nitrogen is, is it's this crazy stuff where they take nitrogen and they make it liquid and it's minus 327 degrees. Oh God, see the splash, you don't want that. This stuff gets in your eyes or you put your hand in there. It will freeze your goddamn hand off like they did in the Terminator movie. So cool, but so terrible. So be very careful when handling this. Also, it needs to be in a well-ventilated area or it could suck all the oxygen out and kill you. You gotta be careful with this stuff. But I wanted to get it because it is so freaking cool. And what we're making today is Dippin' Dots. If you don't know what Dippin' Dots are, it's basically ice cream, but they're in these little tiny ball forms. And for many, 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 many years, it was the one thing that I could not make. There are no ways to make it without liquid nitrogen. So I bought the liquid nitrogen. You okay in there, buddy? I'm okay in there, Mike. Is he doing okay, Mike? He's doing okay, Mike. For many, many years, I wanted to make Dippin' Dots. I didn't know how. So I bought the liquid nitrogen, it's the only way to do it. Once you have it, it's like the easiest freaking thing in the world to make. All you need to do is take some ice cream base. So you can buy ice cream, you can melt it down, or make an ice cream base, cream, sugar, anything with cream. These actually don't even have any cream in them, they're all coconut based. This is a strawberry and young coconut. This is a chocolate chai, and this is a pandan leaf coconut. It's so freaking good. This is like Thai dessert flavors going on. I'm giving them a little shake. You put them in your squeeze bottle, and then all you do, is you just start letting them slowly dip in there. And if you just squeeze it very slowly and move it around fast, you get these little tiny circles come out. It's so exciting. And the taste, it's like, basically it freezes it instantly. You do a couple of those, right? <laughs> and if you move it kind of like this real quick, you don't have to, you can sit there. I've seen people do it, it's like one, Two, three, but if you just kind of you develop this little ability to go like this, they might not be 100% perfect every time, but I found you give it a little squeeze and you move it around quick and then check this out. Oh my God, it's so freaking cold in there. Look, these circles. Oh my God, so exciting. So exciting. Cool, and you know, you can mix them all together because every little dot is its own little universe. It's like making the stars that have ice cream. Now this is amazing because if you buy it or you get your hands on it, even though you gotta be careful, once you learn how to use it, you can freeze fruit instantly. You can put in like maple syrup and freeze that in all kinds of, all kinds of cool, all kinds of cool shapes. You can even take whipped cream. Oh my God, the whipped cream in here. Probably my favorite. Come on buddy, you shake it up. You shake your bastard, you, you shake your bastard. I like the three flavors. Obviously, you can do one flavor, you can do 6,000 flavors. It doesn't matter. And actually, if I were to eat this right now, it would probably stick to my tongue and it would hurt pretty bad. So, when you're messing with this stuff, you know, give it a little time to cool down a bit and it will start to get creamy, but it's like nice and beautiful and crispy now. Watch this. Okay, I gotta show you. While that's cooling down, do we have it? Yes. Check this out whipped cream. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is a personal favorite. Come on. Watch this. I'll just spoon some of that over. <laughs> oh man, cooking and science, sometimes they come together so perfectly. <laughs> just get a little bit of that stuff on. Now check this out. Woo! Boom, you can just like crash it right up. Or, oh my God, it's so creamy on the inside. Now let's try the Dippin' Dots. Tri-colored. 
to have my hand. Look, we're stuck. Ah! But we're stuck, we're not freezing, so. <laughs> His mouth banging. So this is one of those videos you kind of can't make at home unless you have it, but it should inspire you to make a friend that has liquid nitrogen, or once you find out what it is, you know, you're in science class, be like, hey, you can cook with that stuff too. It's so cool. I like to do this test actually, I go like this. And it sticks to my tongue, it's too cold. <laughs> kind of an initiation. I mean, using liquid nitrogen, you'll burn your tongue, but it's cool, right? Frickin' awesome. Gotta give this a try. You've got to, right Mike? That's right. That's right, you've got to give it a try.